After running out of all the options, survivors of narcissistic abuse resort to extreme options such as intense emotional expression through crying, hoping that it might wake up the narcissist. Maybe the narcissist might see how much they're hurting you and that might change the behavior. But the opposite happens as expected because narcissists do not experience emotions like you do. So they do not feel them because they do not have empathy. They do not see your pain. What they see is a form of nuisance, some kind of manipulation that you're doing or you are trying to insult them. Let's talk more about this in today's episode. Hi, I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. In today's episode, we're going to talk about five ways a narcissist reacts when you cry in front of them. If that sounds interesting and you're eager to learn more about these things, make sure to subscribe because as I always say, your subscription to the channel helps in spreading awareness about narcissistic abuse. Before we get started with number one, I'm wondering, did you ever cry in front of a narcissist? If you did, what was their reaction? Drop your answers in the comments below and help other survivors feel less alone in their journey of feeling after narcissistic abuse. Number one, they see your crying as some form of victory. You know narcissists are run by the need to control, run by the need to win, to have the upper hand over the situations so that they can feel better about their insecure, rotten, broken self. So when you cry in front of them, mission accomplished, they have successfully broken you and now you have fallen apart, they have torn you apart, you are weak, you are raw, you are expressing everything that you could through your tears instead of taking a step back, feeling bad about themselves, feeling remorse, feeling guilt, truly letting that shame take over so that they can, they could change their actions. What do they do? Internally, they celebrate it. They love the high they get out of seeing you crying because for them, it is the ultimate victory. The sad thing about all of this is they abuse you until you start crying. They keep doing so because they get a hit out of it. Every single time there is an argument, they'll keep going on and on and on. Even when you just don't want to argue until you start crying, until you are in tears and you wonder why does that happen every single time? Well, it has to because they have to win and your tears are a sign of their omnipotence. At least that is how they perceive it. Reaction number two, they start treating you like you are ugly, you are weak, they want to run away from you. Why? Because narcissists or some narcissists perceive crying as a form of weakness. It triggers their own awareness of their vulnerability. Narcissists run away from emotions, especially intense emotions that could make them feel human. They do not want to feel human. They want to feel godlike completely unaffected by anything. So they don't want to be emotional. When they see you becoming emotional, they feel disgust. They feel hatred towards you. They treat you as if you are covered by some kind of goo and they just don't want to even touch you. That is extremely painful to experience, especially when you're trying to open your heart to this person who you see as your partner or your parent and all you get back is this utter dismissal, total avoidance, and complete abandonment. When a narcissist sees you in tears, that kind of brings up the reminiscence of their own pain, which they do not want to feel at all because they have suppressed it deep down in the chambers of their broken true self. And it tries to come up to the surface and they can smell the rottenness of it, which is why they project that hatred on you that they feel towards themselves. Reaction number three, when you cry in front of a narcissist, they think you are trying to manipulate them. This is the ultimate form of projection, especially if it is a covert narcissist who has mastered the art of using tears to garner sympathy. They think you are trying to do the same when you try to express yourself. Your tears are not seen as the pure expression of your pain or your suffering, rather the attempt made to manipulate them so that they do what you want them to do. They think you're trying to coerce them into obedience or compliance 
when that is not the case it is total projection because they do it themselves to others they think you are doing good doing it to them all of this makes you feel completely invalidated and broken because here you are trying to show your emotions through your tears to this person and what do you get back a look of hatred a look of apathy a complete absence of human soul they are just a walking emotional zombie who can't even hold space for your tears you feel completely dismissed you feel not only invalidated but you feel suppressed you feel belittled you feel you do not matter your existence is a burden because they they just treat you like a master manipulator as if you are filled with tactics that you use against people to coerce them that is how they see you and that reaction is one of the most painful ones to get from the person you love the most reaction number 4 they see your crying as a form of inconvenience narcissist world is all about them everything that is a component of their world has to serve their ego it has to be about them it has to glorify them it has to make them feel bigger and better if the attention is taken away from them and it is put on anything else and if that anything else doesn't uplift the narcissist false self then it is a nuisance here in this case your tears because these tears are all about you for the right reasons they see it as a form of inconvenience as a burden something they don't they don't want to deal with so just you may as well cry in a different room i just don't want to deal with it this this is the reason why after an intense fight they fall asleep so easily so peacefully and deeply and you're there sitting by their side crying your soul out wondering who am i with who is this person they see your crying your emotions as a form of inconvenience and that makes your soul shatter have you experienced this as well have you sat by the narcissist crying while they were sleeping deeply and you felt completely alone in your world if yes drop your experiences in the comments below maybe other people will feel validated through your experiences and maybe you may act as a catalyst in other people's healing journey reaction number 5 and the most bizarre one they just they're black they're emotionally flat they're looking at you as if they're looking at nothing while you're crying because they it's not about lacking empathy it's about not having a soul they don't feel anything at all they just don't they don't connect with you they don't care about you we can go on and keep crying for hours and they'll look at you as if they are looking at something amusing something inanimate an object a piece of furniture that is just lying there it has no life to it because they don't have life to themselves so they are completely emotionally disconnected and this disconnection over time causes massive psychological injury the narcissist is causing harm think about this for a moment and this harm is going on and on and on with each day passing you are getting burdened with the psychological trauma every time you try to reconcile with the narcissist every time you try to seek resolution what do you get back indifference blank stare cold face emotionless body nothing there's nothing happening nothing coming out of it you try to kind of push all the buttons but you feel you are dealing with a robot that doesn't know how to run this program and that breaks your soul it's i hope i can emphasize it enough how damaging it is to be with a person that cold you are torn apart you are in hundreds of pieces just lying there and nobody comes to you to gather you to bring you together to hold you to contain you and the lack of that lack of that kind of nourishment is beyond traumatizing this kind of betrayal is the most difficult to heal from this breaks your trust to the nth degree because you fail to understand how people can be so cold and how you can trust somebody when this narcissist has demonstrated to you that people are capable of being that cold at such volatile times nobody would want to make themselves vulnerable and then have nobody to hold them that is the most painful thing to experience in conclusion we can say narcissists do not react well when you are crying they either cut you off completely 
by just leaving the room they get filled with disgust which is a projection of the hatred they feel towards themselves they feel victorious because bringing you down is their biggest motive it gives them a high they can't they can't get anywhere else or they just make fun of you they see your crying as a form of nuisance as a kind of inconvenience they shouldn't have to deal with that was it for today's episode i hope you found it insightful if you did let me know in the comments and i'll talk with you in the next one until then let the healing begin and continue